public transport sector to trace more COVID-19 cases through cashless payment. Well, more than 40,000 across the country have been used for the service, but it is not without challenges. The government says it is an appropriate approach to contain the virus with the public in terms support of the idea. Here's more details of that in this report. They are the backbone of Kenya's public transport sector. Popularly known as matatus, there are more than 47,014 seater taxis across Kenya. And now, the government wants to use them to trace contacts of COVID-19 cases through the use of cashless payment apps. A recent public notice by the National Transport Authority says the payment system will also provide a platform for an effective contact tracing application. But not all public transport operate in favor of cashless payments, as I soon discover on my way to the central business district. Once seated, I'm immediately offered sanitizer in line with Ministry of Health guidelines on COVID-19. Cashless payments is a brilliant idea, but it's not without its challenges. It's already in use in the sector, but it's not mandatory. Shukri Ahmed, the taxis conductor, says the current cashless system is not foolproof. The passenger pays you and later reverses the transaction. There is a day a passenger paid two dollars and on alighting the vehicle, he reversed the payment. For the government, it makes sense. Contact tracing apps use Bluetooth technology to alert smartphone users when in the vicinity of someone exposed to COVID-19. But the $2 billion Matato industry has been deeply affected by COVID-19. Social distancing guidelines mean they can no longer fill their vehicles. It has affected us a lot. We now carry eight passengers instead of 14. Hanging on the taxi's door, Shukri's attempts to attract passengers bear no fruit. As I pay for my ride using a mobile money app, I inquire from Shukri why they prefer cash. The policeman wants a share. Touts have to be paid, so cashless will be difficult. Cash, they say, is king. 